If you've been wondering how to create dotted lines, dashed lines, curved lines, or straight lines of any other kind of line in Photoshop, then this tutorial is going to show you how to do it. Let's get started. What's happening guys? My name is Brendan from BeWillCreative.com and if you're new here and you love photography, photo editing, and particularly Photoshop, then make sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss a video. In this tutorial, we're gonna talk all about creating lines in Photoshop and three of the best ways to do it. The first tool that we'll go over is the line tool, the second one will be the pen tool, and the third and final option will be the brush tool. Now, each one has their own unique advantages, but if one particular tool appeals more to you, then I've divided this whole video up into chapters so you can easily scrub through and find the tool that you want to learn about. So with that, let's hop into Photoshop and start learning how to create our lines. So the first option that we'll talk about is the line tool. Now the line tool can be found within all of your shape tools, but if you don't see it right away, just click and hold on your shape tool and you'll go down to line tool here. So the line tool is very easy to use. It was a super simple way to create straight lines, but there are a few settings that you need to do before you draw your line. The first thing going up to your settings bar is make sure that it's set to shape. This is gonna make sure that you draw a line rather than a path. The next option is your fill, and because it's a line, it only uses the stroke option, so no matter what color you have set as your fill, it's not going to matter. So you can skip this one altogether. The next one is the stroke color, and that is gonna be the color of your line. So to change the color, just click on the stroke color. You can pick from your recent colors. You can go through the presets, or you can click on this little icon here and pick something from your color picker. Once you have a color selected, it will be highlighted here, and that is gonna be the color of your line. Your next option is the stroke amount, which is going to be the thickness of your line. So in this case, I have 50 pixels. This can vary depending on the size of your canvas, but in this case, I'll just leave it at 50. And our final setting is to choose the solid line stroke option. With all that said, we're going to just click and drag out and it will create a nice line for us here on our canvas. As you can see, it's created a blue line, which is the stroke color, and it's about 50 pixels wide. Now, if I want to go and adjust the thickness of this line, say it's too thick or I wanna make it thicker, I can just go and make sure my line layer is selected and then go up to the settings and change that accordingly. Now, if you wanna change your line tool from a solid line to a dashed line, all you have to do is once again, make sure your line layer is selected go up to your stroke options and click the dashed line option. Now you notice here that my line didn't actually change and this can depend on the size of your line and the size of your canvas. If this happens to you, all you have to do is press more options and then you have to change the dash and the gap. The dash is gonna be the individual size of each dash and the gap is gonna be the distance between each dash. So let's just change this to two. And now you can see that my line is dash and I can further customize this as need be. Now that our line is created, let's say that this is the perfect line that we wanted. And now we just want to curve it a little bit. There are a few different ways that you can do that. Since the line tool can't actually draw a curved line by itself, it has to be warped. So the way that we can do that is select our line layer, press command or control T to access our transform tool. And then at the top of our toolbar, we can click the warp icon. And now we can begin to adjust our line to warp it as necessary. So that will give you a nice curve depending on what you're wanting to go for. Now there are easier ways to do this and the first one is using warp presets and so if you go up to warp click on that drop down menu you can click through a bunch of different presets that will automatically change the curve of your line sometimes these warp presets will do the perfect job while other times you're still looking for a little bit more so that's where these split options become very useful so going to our split options i'll click on the first one here and now i can add any point along my line that i want to warp so let's say i want to just warp this part right over here, I'll click and it adds a nice point for me that I can now adjust individually, making it really easy to move that part of my line. Once you're happy with the curve of your line, all you have to do is press enter on your keyboard or hit the checkbox at the top of your window. And now you have the nice curved line that you were looking for created completely with the line tool. Now the line tool is one of the easiest ways to create a line in Photoshop since all you have to do is click and drag out on your canvas. All of your line tool settings are made easy with your stroke settings and it really doesn't get more friendly than that. Now, the last thing I should note is if you want to create a perfectly straight line with the line tool, all you have to do is click, drag out, and hold shift on your keyboard. And now, as you notice, no matter what I do with my mouse, my line still remains straight. So holding shift here, and now I'll have a perfectly straight line. If I wanna do that vertically, I'll do the exact same thing, holding shift. I'll click, hold shift, and drag down, and now I can only 
make a vertically straight line. So depending on whether you want your line horizontal or vertical, just hold shift and draw in that direction to create your straight line. Now that you have a good understanding of the line tool, let's hop into our next option, which is the pen tool. Now you may know the pen tool from other videos and tutorials on bewillcreative.com where I talk all about cutting images out with the pen tool. However, you can also use it to create your lines. To access your pen tool, just press P on your keyboard or find it here in your toolbar. And then there are a few settings you need to go through before before you can create that line. First, make sure that your pen mode is not set to path, but instead set to shape. Next, the fill option. This one's really important. You want to make sure that your fill option is transparent. That is represented by this white box with the red line through it. If you have a color selected as your fill, you're gonna get some weird appearances that is gonna ruin the effect of your line. So make sure that this is transparent. Now going over to stroke, just like with our line tool, this is going to dictate the color of the line. So for this example, I'll just choose a white line and I'll go to my stroke rate radius and I'll just set it to something like 35 for this example. Once again, the stroke option I'll set as a solid line. Now with all that set, all I have to do is click on my canvas to create an anchor point. And when I click again to add another anchor point, it will connect those two points with a straight line. I can continue this infinitely as long as I would like in any shape that I want and the line will continue to follow along those anchor points. So since your line will follow a specific path, it's very easy to follow along edges or against a particular shape while you're using the pen tool. With all this said, let's say you want to now create a curved line. So I'll just delete this layer so we can start fresh. To create a curved line, we're gonna do the same thing, click to add an anchor point and click to add a second anchor point, but this time I'll click and hold so I can continue to curve that line. So I'm just holding to curve it and now it's going to curve that line for me. And I can do that one more time, click over here, click and drag. And now it's gonna make a nice wave pattern for me. Now, once you've created your anchor point, you can further adjust that curve by using these control arms here. By holding Alt or Option, you can click on that control arm and you can further adjust the look of your curve like so. If you're wanting to create a curved line, the pen tool is hands down the easiest way to do it. Since you're using the pen tool as a shape, it is going to put all of your pen tool adjustments onto its own shape layer. So it really is super simple to use. You don't have to think about creating new layers or anything like that. Now, similar to the line, tool, if you wanted to turn this same path into a dashed or dotted line, all you'd have to do is make sure that layer is selected and then go up to your stroke options and select the dashed or the dotted option. Once again, you can click the more options tab to change the dash or the gap, which is going to affect how your line looks. And once you're happy, click OK and your line has been created. The pen tool is one of my favorite line creation tools in Photoshop because you can create just about any shape so easily. That's the beauty of anchor points and pen paths like this. Now, if you're new to the pen tool and want to know more about all the things that it's capable of doing, I'll leave a link down in the description below to a really great tutorial all about that stuff. Now, the last thing I wanna mention is if you wanna create a straight line with the pen tool, just like the line tool, you'll click to add an anchor point, you'll hold shift, and then click again and it will automatically connect those two anchor points in a straight line. So as you can see, I have a perfectly horizontal line. You can also do this vertically as well. Now that you have a good understanding of the pen tool, let's go into our last line creation tool, which is the brush tool. To access the brush tool, press B on your keyboard or you can find it here in your toolbar. And with this one, it's a little bit different than our previous two options. All of your brush settings can be found right up here in your settings bar where you can adjust the size and you can adjust the hardness. If you're wanting to create a line, a solid colored line, I'd suggest leaving your hardness at 100% so you have a nice sharp edge. The next thing I'd recommend is selecting a hard round brush preset. This is just another way to guarantee you're gonna have the solid line that you're looking for. Next, make sure your mode is set to normal, your opacity is 100% and your flow is at 100%. As for choosing the color of your line, you can select that by your active foreground color. So you can either use your color palette here or you can go down and click on the foreground color in your toolbar and select the desired brush color you want. So I'll just select a nice blue here, click OK. As you can see, it's set to our foreground color. And now I'll create a new layer so that we're gonna edit non-destructively. That way we can always go back, we can adjust this line independently from the background. On that new layer, I can just click and drag anywhere on my image to begin creating a line. Now, as you can see, this isn't really the ideal line that you might be wanting to draw. If you wanna create a nice straight line or something like that, all you have to do is hold shift while you're painting with your brush tool and it's gonna create a straight line for you no matter 
Where I move my cursor, it will only let me draw in a straight line. This also will work vertically as well. If you want to adjust the thickness of your lines created with the brush tool, you'll just have to adjust the brush size that you're using. The easiest way to do that is by using your bracket keys, the inward bracket key to make your brush smaller, the outward bracket key to make it slightly larger. And by adjusting that brush size, I can now make that even thinner. So this is a super fast and easy way to draw lines in Photoshop and it might be even a little bit more intuitive because you're drawing it rather than having to use some other tool to create a line. This feels a little bit more natural. Now unlike the other tools there's no easy stroke option to change it from a solid to a dashed line. Instead you have to go and change the spacing of your brush. So to do that you're going to click on your brush settings panel. If you don't see this you can go up here to window and down here to brush settings and then within the brush tip shape option we're going to go down to spacing. Make sure that's checked off and I'm going to drag up that slider and notice how our preview changes. As you increase the spacing, we start to get little dots rather than a continuous line. So with that spacing set, I can now click and drag out to create a dotted line. You can further adjust that spacing as you wish to make those dots further or closer together, depending on the look you're going for. But with that, you now have a good idea of how to use the brush tool to create any type of line that you would like. So those are three of the best tools that you can use to create lines in Photoshop. My personal favorite option is the line tool only because it's so simple to use. You just click and drag out and the job is done. No weird settings necessary and it's totally adjustable with your stroke options. My second favorite tool is the pen tool because you can create unique paths. However, the pen tool is a little bit awkward to use and can take a little bit more to get the hang of if you're not used to it yet. Lastly, the brush tool is another easy way to create lines. It's a lot more intuitive since you're just drawing on your camera canvas rather than using additional tools. However, it's a little harder to get those perfect curved lines like you can when you're using the pen tool. Now, if you have a favorite method of creating lines, let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to hear them or which one you enjoyed the most out of this tutorial. If you learned something today, then make sure to hit that like button and consider subscribing to stay up to date with more tutorials just like this. And if you want more learning goodness, then make sure to check out my blog at bewellcreative.com where we got tons of awesome tutorials on photo editing, Photoshop, photography, whatever you need. It's all there. Anyways, guys, my name is Brendan from BeWillCreative.com and I'll catch you back here next time for another new tutorial. See you then.